हेलो एवरी वन आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग वेल इन प्रीवियस पार्ट वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट इंडियन नंबर सिस्टम इन दिस पार्ट टू वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट इंटरनेशनल नंबर सिस्टम सो लेट्स स्टार्ट दिस चैप्टर थ्री नंबर सिस्टम पार्ट टू एज यू ऑलरेडी नो देयर आर टू टाइप्स ऑफ नंबर सिस्टम इंडियन नंबर सिस्टम and international number system so let's begin with our topic international number system we can count very large numbers starting from 1 10 100 1000 10000 100000 1000 1000 million 10 100 million 1 billion 10 billion 100 billion and so on so when we are using ones tens hundreds thousands millions billions then we are using international system of numeration so let's discuss the international place value chart in this place value chart you can see there are two things given periods and places in this periods one periods this one period consists of three places that is ones tens and hundreds as we have seen in indian number system also next is thousands period this thousands period consists of three places that is thousand Ten thousand, hundred thousand. Next is million period. This million period consists of three places: million, ten million, and hundred million. This billion period consists of three places: billion, ten billion, and hundred billion. Similarly, there are trillions also. You can say trillion, ten trillion, hundred trillion, and so. on so we have seen this place value chart in each period we can see there are three three places given so to separate the periods according to international system of numeration different periods like ones thousands millions and billions are separated by comma starting from the right to differentiate or separate the periods <coughs> let us take some examples mark the periods using commas Question number one. This large number is given. We have to separate this large number with comma. We start with the first period named as ones period. Consists of the first three digits of the given number, that is seven, eight, and nine. The second period is consists of the next three digits. that is thousands period that is 4 5 6 this will come under thousands period the third period that is millions period consist of the next digit next three digit that is 0 0 0 the fourth period that is billion period consists of the next three digits of the given number that is 1 2 3 so to differentiate periods by placing commas in between the numbers we will start putting the comma from the right side after every three three digits you can see in this all given numbers the comma is after every 3 3 digits
we will start putting the comma from the right side after every three digits after putting the comma the numbers will be easily readable now put this number under the place value chart we have taken the first one and two number first put the number in their respective places we have placed the numbers according to their respective places that is at ones place 9 at tens place 8 at hundreds place 7 at thousand place 6 ten thousands place 5 Hundred thousands place four, and we have seen that the millions period was zero. So we will put this zero in millions period, and then in billions period three, in tens billions period two, in hundred billions period. one similarly the next number this 200 the first starting from the right side the three digit 200 we will put in the one period the next thousand period that is 0 to 0 we will put under the thousand period the next 202 that is a million period we will put this 202 in the million period and then one digit is left that is 1 we will put under the billion period after placing these numbers under the place value chart according to the numeral system we can easily write this number in words let us write in words see this first number we will write this first number in words starting from the left side that is billion period for writing in words we will start from the left side that is in here in billion period Three places are given: hundred billion, ten billion, and billion. Together, we will read one hundred twenty-three, and then after the period's name, that is billions. We will write in words that is one hundred twenty-three billion. And after the billion, we will put comma to separate the period. Next number is zero zero zero. This zero zero is kept in million period because the million period is zero. We will not write this number in words, so we will write the next period that is thousand period. In thousand period, the three digits four five six we will read four hundred fifty six, and then after the period name that is thousands. we will write in words 456000 and then after the next period that is one period in this the three digits are given 7 at hundreds place 8 at tens place and 9 at ones place we will write it 789 you can see the 789 now together we will read it 123 billion 456789 let us take the second question that this number is already separated by comma now we can see the first period we know that it is one period this the next period is 
thousands period this period is millions period and then after this one is at the billions period this one is at the billions period so we will write one billion and after that we will put comma to separate this billion period next is millions period in millions period 202 is given we will write 202 and after that the period name that is million we will put comma after million next is thousands period in thousands period we can see 0 to 0 given so we will write this number as 20 and after that the period name that is 20,000 next is the one period in one period the number is given 200 we will write it in word as 200 I hope you all understood this after putting the comma the numbers will be very easier to write in words as we have already discussed about place value and face value in part 1 Place value is the basis of our entire number system in which the position of a digit in a number determines its value. It means the value of a digit depends on its place or position in the number. Let us take example. Write the place value of each digit in this given large number. We can see this is one period. In this, this 3 is at 1's place. So, to write the place value of this 3, we will write 3 and the place name that is 1's, 3 1's. Then, the place value of 3 will be 3. Next is this 0. Because 0 is kept at the 10's place, the place value of the 0 will be 0 only. Note down one thing. Wherever 0 will be kept, the place value of 0 will be only 0. We can see here some zeros are given. So, wherever zeros are there, the value of the pl place value of the 0 will be 0 only. Similarly, we can see the other numbers this 6 is at hundreds place so the place value of this 6 is 6 hundreds that is 600 next is 5 the place value of this 5 is 5 thousands that is 5000 the place value of this 2 because this 2 is at 10,000 place so they, therefore we will write 2 and 10 thousands 210 means 20 and 1000 means 20,000. This 2 is at 100's place. So we will write 200 because this is in 1000's period we will write 200,000's. And then the place value will be 200,000. Then after this 7 is kept at millions period. We will write the place value of 7, that is 7 million. The 3 is kept at 10 million place. So, the place value of 3 is 310 million, that is 310 means 30 million. This 0 is kept at 100 million place. But as I have told you all that the place value of 0 will be only 0. The next is 2 which is kept at the billion place. So the place value of 2 is 2 billion. The 0 is placed at 10 billion place. So the place value of 0 is 0, 10 billion that is 0. One thing no, let me tell you all that the, to find the place value we multiply the number with its place. If this 3 is at 1's place, we will multiply this 3 with this place that is 1. The number will come 
30 and this sorry 3 the number will come 3 and this will be the place value of this 3 similarly if this 3 is at 10 million place so we will multiply this 3 with 10 million and the answer will come 30 million Similarly, this 0 is at 10 billion place. So, when we will multiply 0 with 10 billion, then the answer will come 0 only. Because to multiply any number with 0, we get only 0. And that is why the place value of 0 will be 0. I hope you all understood the place value. Now there is some questions for you. Solve it in your copy. Question number one. Mark the periods and then write the number names. Marking the periods with comma and placing it under the place value chart. You can easily write this number in words. Question number two. Write the place value and face value of color digit. As I have told you the place value and face value I have explained in part 1. So, it will be easier to solve this question number 2. Solve this question number 1 and 2 in your copy. Thank you all.